Keep how's everything going? I had an okay weekend. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, I just really wanted to uh, let you know that I'm giving my two weeks uh, to the firm. Is there anything I can do? Or is your decision already made up? Again, it's not you. Uh, it's just a confluence of a few things that, that I just want to move forward with. What if I told you that leaving a prestigious consultant job at McKinsey was the best decision I ever made? It might sound surprising, especially considering McKinsey's global reputation and the countless opportunities it offers. But today, I'm going to share with you the reason behind my decision to walk away, the insights I gained, and how this move could resonate with your own career choices. If you are currently working in a high stakes job or even considering a career move in consulting, this video is for you. Stick around because what I'm about to share might change the way that you view your own career forever. Let's start by giving you a bit of background on McKinsey. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that McKinsey is one of the most prestigious consultant firm in the world. Founded in 1926 by James McKinsey, who was a professor of accounting at the University of Chicago, the firm began with a focus on improving management efficiency. Over the decades, it has grown into a global powerhouse, advising some of the world's largest companies, governments, and nonprofits on a range of issues from operations and strategy to digital transformation and sustainability. McKinsey's mission, as they told us in orientation, is to help organizations solve their most complex challenges, whether it's boosting their profitability, guiding major strategic decisions, or navigating the complexities of global markets. McKinsey consultants are right there shaping the future. But there's a lot more McKinsey than just the mission statement. When you join the firm, you're not just signing up for a job you become a part of an elite group. The training was and still is very rigorous. And from day one, you are expected to deliver at the highest level. But later, as I learned, this intense environment comes with its own sets of challenges. The firm's reputation for hiring the best and brightest means that landing a job there is significant achievement. It's a validation of your hard work, your skills and your potential. But what happens when your reality of the job doesn't align with your personal values or long-term goals? That's what I'm about to dive into next. Let me take you back to the beginning of my journey getting into McKinsey. I was fresh out of business school and I was eager to put my MBA skills to the test. I had dreams of working for a prestigious firm, applying my case study knowledge into real world scenarios. And of course, making a whole lot of money doing it. McKinsey was a dream job for me, which is the case for many MBA graduates. But it wasn't just McKinsey that was interested in me. I had received offers from Bain, Goldman Sachs, and BC, or Boston Consulting. However, McKinsey stood out for several reasons. First, the firm's reputation for excellence was unmatched. Second, the salary was extremely competitive. My starting salary at McKinsey was about $135,000, which was a lot of money for someone fresh out of college. And in addition to the base salary, there was the bonuses, the business class travel, and the opportunity to attend some exclusive industry events. One of the perks that particularly excited me the most was the travel. McKinsey consultants are often on the move, flying out to meet clients in different cities and sometimes different countries every week. For someone who loved to travel, this was a dream come true. In fact, in my previous video, I talked about how I started a travel agency while I was in school and visited over 70 countries. If you want to learn more about that, make sure you check out that video. But back to McKinsey, traveling frequently was a chance to see more of the world, experience different cultures, and expand my professional network. But the allure of McKinsey wasn't just the money or the travel. It was also about the influence and access that came with the job. As a McKinsey consultant, you're in the room with top executives from Fortune 500 companies. In those meetings, I was privy to the most confidential information, and I played a crucial role in shaping their strategies. It's an intoxicating experience, knowing that the work you're doing can influence the direction of the entire industry or even the entire world. But as I soon discovered, there's a flip side to this lifestyle that isn't always apparent when you're first starting out. Let's talk about the perks of the McKinsey lifestyle, because Let's be honest, they are a big part of what draws people to the firm. Beyond the high salary and the frequent travel, one of the biggest benefits of working at McKinsey is access to information. As a consultant, you're in a unique position to gain insights that few others have. You are involved in shaping strategies that can influence the global economy, and you're constantly learning from some of the brightest minds in the industry. But as glamorous as this lifestyle may seem, it did came with a cost. The travel that initially seemed exciting can quickly become exhausting. Living out of a suitcase, being away from home for days or weeks at a time, it begins to take a toll on you. I find myself missing out on important events with friends and family. In fact, 
I even had to miss the wedding of one of my closest friends because I was in Chicago helping a troubled newspaper avoid bankruptcy. And then there are the long, long hours. It's common for consultants to work 60 to 80 hours a week. While this might be sustainable for a while, it's definitely something that you can't keep up. The constant pressure to deliver results, the late nights, the tight deadlines, it all starts to wear down. This is why many consultants experience burnout after just a year or two on the job. But for me, the biggest challenge wasn't just travel or the long hours. It was my moral dilemmas. As a consultant, you're often advising companies on how to maximize profits, cut costs, and improve efficiency. But sometimes these decisions are in the best interest of the public. For example, I once advised a company to lay off workers to boost profitability. It was the right decision for the shareholders, but it wasn't the right decision for the workers. This particular company had chosen a location in the United States where wages were significantly lower than the national average. They built a plant, extracted the resources, and then laid off the workers when it was no longer profitable. Now, that town is experiencing extreme poverty and residents are leaving the area in search of work. These are the kinds of decisions that don't sit right with you, especially when you're advising the company to make them. I found myself grappling with the ethics of the work I was doing. I was helping companies make decisions that that would affect thousands of people and often those decisions didn't align with my personal values. The recent controversy surrounding McKinsey and the consultant industry only added to my growing sense of unease. While I can't get too much into the details due to non-disclosure agreements, the firm has faced criticism for involvement in controversial projects such as advising on policies that have had negative environmental impacts. While McKinsey has made efforts to address those issues, the controversies made me question my role in the firm and whether I was truly making a positive impact in the world. After a few years at McKinsey, I began to seriously consider whether this was the life I wanted. It wasn't an easy decision to make. The high salary, the perks, the influence. It was all tempting to say the least, but I was also increasingly aware of the costs and the cost was to my personal life, to my mental and physical health and my sense of morality. Leaving McKinsey was one of the hardest decisions I ever made. I was walking away from a prestigious job and all of the benefits that came with it, but I knew I needed to make a change. I wanted to find work that was more aligned with my values, work that would allow me to have a positive impact on the world in a way that felt authentic to me. The decision to leave wasn't just about the moral dilemmas though. It was also about finding a better work-life balance. I realized that I was sacrificing too much of my personal life for the sake of my career. I wanted to be there for my friends and family, to have time for my own hobbies and interests, and to take care of my own health. And I knew that staying wasn't going to allow me to do that. It was a difficult choice, but it was the right one for me. So what do you do after leaving a consultant job at McKinsey? The good news is that an MBA combined with consulting experience opens up a world of possibilities for you. You can move into corporate roles, take on positions in strategy, operations, finance. You can join a startup where your skills in problem solving, decision making, and the connections you made at the firm will be invaluable. Or you can start your own business using the knowledge and experience you gain in consulting to build something of your own. As for me, leaving McKinsey was a chance to reassess what I wanted out of my career and out of my life. I decided to pursue work that was more aligned with my values, work that would allow me to make a positive impact in a way that felt true to who I am. But most importantly, it gave me more time for myself and for what I like to do. No more 60 hour work weeks. My billables at this moment is about 20 hours a week at most. And while I may no longer be advising Fortune 500 companies on billion dollar decisions, I'm doing work that I find fulfilling and meaningful. And that's what matters to me the most at this moment. If you think about leaving a high stakes job, whether it's in consulting or another industry, my advice is to take the time to reflect on what you truly want out of your career and your life. Don't be afraid to make a change if it means finding work that aligns more with your values and allows you to live a more balanced, fulfilling life. So there you have it. A look at my time at McKinsey, why I decided to leave, and some advice for those of you who might be considering a similar path. Consulting is an incredible career for the right person, but it's not without its challenges. If you're thinking about going down this road, I hope this video has given you some insight into what it's really like and how to decide if it's right for you. As always, if you have any questions or you want to share your own experiences, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more content like this. I also want to share these three resources that I personally found helpful in making my decision. 
the Harvard Business Review Guide to Work-Life Balance. It is a great resource for anyone struggling to find balance in a demanding career. The second one was Seth Golden's blog. It offers insightful thoughts on finding purpose and meaning in your work. And the last one was Brene Brown's TED Talk on vulnerability. I suggest you listen to it. It is a powerful reminder of the importance of staying true to yourself in your career and your personal life. Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next video. Peace.